When he is politicking, Deputy President William Samoyiruta refers to opposition leader Rayla Amalo Odinga, in jest, as Yul Jamawavita and Ely, that guy who loves using parables. This time around this teaser has come to Mr. Ruto's own doorstep as he now labors to unravel the loaded kite and a ili that is Mr. Odinga's handshake with President Uru Kenyatta. And there is no denying this development has caused as much confusion as apprehension within the DPS political camp. When news of the Uru Rayla meeting at Harambi House first came through on March 9, the DP congratulated the two leaders for demonstrating statesmanship in uniting the country. But this is no longer the feeling within the DPS camp. Although he has not personally or directly contradicted the president for his political overture to the former Prime Minister Mr. Ruto's former party boss and political ally turned for the DPS foot soldiers have openly expressed reservations over the newfound Uru rail relationship. Good pay. Senate leader of majority Kipchumba Murkaman, for instance, who called for Mr. Odinga to be given an official office and good pay so that he can serve Kenyans during the funeral of Mzi Willie Kaino Kilimo in Elgio Marakwet County on March 17, has since changed tune. Mr. Murkaman, a close ally of the DP, is now on record talking of emergence of political dynasties to block Mr. Ruto's 2022 presidential bid. Similarly, leader of majority in the National Assembly Aidan Duell, who observed that he had all along known the former Prime Minister as a great statesman who has always placed the interests of his country ahead of his personal ambitions moments after the Harambee House meeting, is now less enthusiastic about the handshake. Having teamed up with the former PM in ODM a decade ago alongside the DP, Mr. Duell indeed understands Mr. Odinga fairly well. That he now has second thoughts over the handshake between his former boss and his current boss, President Kenyatta, is a pointer to the thinking within Ruto's camp. Handshake But this is not the only handshake causing discomfort to the DP and his allies. There is also the one between Mr. Ruto and retired President Daniel Arap Mwa, which flopped last Thursday. In a way, Mr. Ruto's backers believe the two handshakes are related as far as the 2022 electoral intrigues are concerned. To them, Mr. Mwa and Mr. Oding are one and the same in this game. Earlier on August 11, 2011, an enraged Mr. Ruto stressed the link between Mr. Mwa and Mr. Oding in character, by claiming they were both tyrants and dictators. The then Eldret North MP had just been sacked as cabinet minister from the Grand Coalition government, alongside Mr. Duell, who was assistant minister for livestock. At a press conference at Parliament Buildings, Ruto charged that Rayla was not, in any way, different from such leaders as former President Moi who rewarded his sycophants by giving them ministerial positions previously held by those he perceived disloyal. The political love and hate affair of the two R's Ruto and Rayla kicked off in earnest in 2001, barely three years after Mr. Ruto had joined elective politics as MP for Eldoret North. Together with Professor Julia Ojiambo, then Director of Women Youth Affairs at the Kenya Party, Mr. Ruto was tasked to work with and fine-tune a framework of cooperation between the Cockerell Party and Mr. Odinga's National Development Party NDP political rival. It is worth noting that Mr. Odinga was initially introduced to Mwa by Mr. Ruben Cheeseire, Mr. Ruto's political rival whom he had just dislodged from Parliament as Eldoret North MP. As the DP has previously explained he was just Mzs, Mwa, Mtiyam Kano, an aide, otherwise the Mr. Mark II, then nominated MP, was the engine behind the moves to bring Mr. Odinga on board. The arrival Mr. Odinga at Kenya dealt a blow though momentarily, to a number of political careers, including Mr. Ruto's. In a new arrangement, Mr. Odinga replaced Mr. Joseph Kamado as Kenya Secretary General, while Mr. Ruto, who had been inching closer to the Secretary General's position, was pushed further into the periphery. But the real beef would follow in 2002 when Mr. Odinga engineered rebellion within the Cockerell Party and walked away to join Mr. Mwai Kibaki in forming the National Rainbow Coalition, 
leaving Kanyu's presidential bid in shambles. Kanyu, whose candidate was Mr. Yuru Kenyatta with Mr. Ruto among key allies, lost to NARC in the subsequent polls in 2002. But the chemistry between Mr. Odinga and Mr. Ruto would gain ground again in 2005 when the Rayla-led rebel wing of Liberal Democratic Party and Kibaki's government teamed up with the Uru-led opposition side to defeat the constitutional referendum. While Mr. Kenyatta walked away to team up with Kibaki and the Party of National Unity Coalition, Mr. Ruto opted to stay on with Mr. Odinga, who ran on an ODM ticket in 2007. Botched Elections After the botched elections, followed by violence, Mr. Ruto stuck out his neck in defense of his party boss' stolen victory, especially at kick where results were being announced. Observers have argued that the two RS are not only indefatigable campaigners, but very uniform in political style and aggressiveness. Also contributing to the current heightened tensions between them, observes Professor Peter Kogwanja a political affairs commentator, is their tenacity and inexhaustible energy, unlike other potential competitors such as Kalonzo, Musioka, or, Mazalia, Madivati, their aggressive political style has enabled them to mobilize way beyond the numbers of their primary ethnic constituencies. And former Tiso North MP, Arthur Odera, who is a close ally of the DP, adds that the two are assertive and ambitious individuals who would be unstoppable if they teamed up. But Professor Amuka Anu observes that the perceived strengths could be a weakness for the two ahead of the 2022 elections, it has become a zero-sum competition in which one must vanquish the other by all means in order to survive, depending also on whom Yuru will lend a helping hand. Battleground However observers see little room for a rail Aruto political merger. Singling out central Kenya as the next battleground for the two, Professor Kagwanja observes the DP has built a seemingly invisible political juggernaut in the region consisting mainly of elected MPs, governors and senators. But Professor Ananwo pines that another possibility could be that the political animosity between the two is misguided as both may well be in Mr. Kenyatta's crosshairs for annihilation to enable the president succeed himself in 2022 by becoming a powerful prime minister through manipulation of the constitution. Either way, Mr. Odera observes that Trudeau backers view Mr. Odinga as one upsetting Jubilee's succession plans. Perhaps only a clear discerning of the Uru-Rayla handshake Kaitanda Ely will calm tempers between Rayla and Rudo.